time now for our political insiders, Charlie Giroux and Tony May. Join us here tonight, guys. Thank you for being here. Always a pleasure. And a big vote in the PA House today uh, to possibly put the size of the House in the hands of the people. Yes, it's a, it's a first step in what will be a, a two-year process. The General Assembly has to vote twice in two different sessions of the General Assembly, and then it goes on the ballot. But the vote today in the House was three to one in favor of reducing the size of the State House and the State Senate. It goes now to the Senate for a vote. The big argument in favor of reducing the size, Rob, is efficiency. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you wonder about that, but Tony is correct. A long process, because it's not only got to pass both sessions, that means it still has to pass the Senate in this session, then it has mm -hmm. to pass through both chambers in a subsequent session of the General <laughs> Assembly, then it has to be on a referendum ballot for all the voters of Pennsylvania to approve a constitutional amendment. Long way to go here. Long this is way. like the first time, though, they've taken this first step. First time they've gotten this least, far. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. All right, well, you guys are fresh back from New York City. Yeah. Trip. The Tell PA us about society. the PA society. He went, I stayed home this year. You stayed back this year. Yeah, I just okay. stayed. I'm Not waiting having. for them to move to Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tell us about it. well, the Pennsylvania Society is the annual gathering of the state's business and political leaders in New York. The topic this year, as you might have expected, was the gubernatorial race. Quite frankly, a cattle show for the prospective uh, candidates. And interestingly, the Democratic candidates Couldn't you failed. Call it a dog show or oh, a whatever, pet show, a something show. <laughs> more cheerful. <laughs> cattle. The, but the Democratic candidates, by and large, failed to dazzle, and that's, I think, an increasing concern. The buzz was generally about two people that haven't announced they're running, Jack Wagner and Kathleen Kane, rather than about the people who were actually on the track. I think that's a concern for the Democrats going forward. Tony, what do you think? Well, I think that uh, what the the candidates went to New York for they got, which is a chance to network, to to meet and rub shoulders with potential donors, perhaps even pick up some cash. Anyone dazzle to you? I know you weren't there, but uh, is there a, a well, someone I, who is I think, dazzling I think for you? The, they're, they're showing some good uh, uh, seasoning from the experience they've gotten already. The campaign started in about September. I think that the obvious choices are, are, are doing well. Uh, uh, Allison Schwartz, the congresswoman, uh, the treasurer, uh, Rob, uh, is doing well. And then uh, also a late starter, Kathy, uh, or Katie McGinty, uh, it would seem to be doing well as New York as well, plus the other candidates. All right, final 30 seconds. You wanted to mention the Senate could vote tonight. The U.S. Senate could on a budget deal that's kind of interesting, interesting in its making because, at least in recent history, the House has been the body where things have had a little trouble getting through, particularly bipartisan efforts. This time, sailed through the House of Representatives. The Senate put up some roadblocks, but it appears that those are crumbling away. It's a deal that doesn't make anybody very happy. Those are usually pretty good deals. Oh, Signs of a good compromise, right? <laughs> yeah. Both sides walk right. away not yep. feeling good. Tony May, Charlie Giroux, thank you for being here. And you can catch our political insiders every Tuesday right here on CBS 21 News at 530.